Um, yeah, so very happy to be here. Um, so today I'm talking about um, ideas for celebrating black history on the Facebook groups, on Twitter, I normally see like people, what are you gonna, like, they need ideas if that makes sense. So I'm the man for the job, I guess. <laughs> um, so some of these ideas might not apply to you and just to touch on what Will said, it's about drawing links to what you're already doing in the curriculum. So for example, in October, if you're studying World War II, it could be um, the focus for an independent study is um, looking at black people's experiences during the war. So it's about linking it to what you're doing in the curriculum as well, as well as building historical rigor. So, so often how um, back black history is celebrated is in assemblies. However, sometimes it's just forgotten about and the celebration isn't necessarily sustained. So this, should just, this is about giving you ideas as to how and also what should be celebrated as well. Okie dokie. So beyond the, um, beyond the assembly, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so one idea in terms of how is having an independent month long project. So it could be you get your students to become a museum curator and they build a collection and explain what objects they would have in that museum in, t in terms of um, African kingdoms. And the British Museum has got a work booklet on different objects um, for previous African kingdoms, for example, Benin, um, Songhe Empire. They find out the stories behind those artefacts and they select why they've chosen those artefacts and also you can stretch it which ones would you give back to um the country if that makes sense and you could um because you've done it as a month-long inquiry or independent project you could get the winner if you do it as a competition to therefore give an assembly so that's your workload done <laughs> um you could get them to create um an extract or an edition of the historian so if you want to, if one of your department aims is about writing, you know, getting them to write outside, it could be focusing on a theme, for example, black activists in the UK through times. And I'm going to give you some um, information on that as well. Or it could be um, they read an extract from a black historian, for example, um, or political writer, for example, Carla, and they transform that into a textbook for primary school students. So if you've got, for example, primary links, it's a good way, I guess, as well to kind of you know, build that relationship. Um, booklets. So it could be if, for example, your department, that your um, priority is getting them reading and critically engaging with that reading, for example, um, you could have extracts from historians, black historians, and um, some questions. But I'm going to develop that quicker, quick, um, afterwards. Um, if you do have time, I know not everybody has the time, you could do drop down department days whereby their research projects, they get to present it to the class or if you don't have time, um, they could just do it in assembly towards the latter part of um, October. Or if you're in London or near London, they've got, you've got the Black Cultural Archives and they've got a lot to, um, on, in terms of activism within the UK at the time and from my own experience when I went to university the major shocker for me was that not all the information is in one textbook so it gives them that opportunity to actually go out find resources and really engage with the processes of obtaining um, sources so just quick five ideas in terms of what should be celebrated um, so I got this idea from Sharon and I spelled Sharon wrong uh, so <laughs> can't believe that, that's embarrassing. <laughs> um, yeah, um, she's a head of department in school in North London. And she, what she did this year, which I absolutely loved, was the historiography behind black history. So for example, how did black history in the UK come to be? Yeah, and then comparing that, having a comparative study between UK and USA. And if you really want to stretch it, you can get them debating, um, for example, should black history only be written by black historians? So they're engaging with um, historiography at the same time. So I've got links to that. You could concentrate on one theme. So as I said, for example, in October, if you, because um, I don't want to add to people's workload. Um, so for example, in October, if you are looking at World War II, World War I, one of your themes could be black contributions for, for war, or if you're doing a local area, black presence through your time in your local er um, area. Sometimes people want to do too much. It's more about quanti no, quality than quantity. So it's only 
selecting one of those. It could be, for example, not to add to anyone's workload, the BBC Witness got great podcasts, especially on black British history. So they're listening to podcasts, they're um, writing it in their booklets. So those are different themes. Um, black British historians and political writers, you could create a booklet, getting them engaging with, the, and it, um, with them. And for example, um, having their faces next to the extracts, because it's just so powerful to see that actually um, historians come in all shapes and colours and genders. So yeah, getting them engaging with their writing and yeah. Um, oral history, so African history is normally um, shared through oral histories. So getting them engaging with oral history so they could find out about one particular African kingdom, for, for example, Songhe Empire, and then they're creating an oral history in a video or um, yeah, whatever. And um, yeah, so they share it with the class and then you could stretch their thinking by saying, is this a valid construct of history? Is it better than written, um, written uh, methods? Um, the history of a term, word or concept. So for example, race, how did that word come to be? Um, how has it been abused? How is it used now? Or black nationalism, black self-determination, um, self black feminism, pan-Africanism as well. So I think, oh my, good for time. Yeah, so which is more powerful and worth celebrating? I just wanted to put that up and notice that I haven't mentioned anything about Martin Luther King. I haven't mentioned about anything about um, civil rights in the America. So it's just about really and truly thinking deeply about how we're incorporating historical processes in terms of celebrating black history. So I hope all that made sense and I did rush, but I will put in resource, I have sets of resources too for um, TM icons page, yeah. <laughs>